Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So on this week's vlog, um, we are touching bases with our, the exterior of our home just to show you guys how things are progressing in our maple garden. A lot of things are starting to bloom. My bobo hydrangeas are coming back and I absolutely love them. I can see little buds on them, so I cannot wait because once those actually start to take off, it's going to be amazing. Um, my gardenias are starting to bloom. Like everything is starting to pick up momentum. Um, as you guys know, here in Georgia, we have that late frost in April, so it kind of knocked things back a little bit, but everything seems to be thriving and I absolutely love it. But one thing that has been causing an issue within my garden are bugs. So this week's vlog, we are partnering with our friends at Pesty. So let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog. If you haven't heard of Pesty, they're a DIY friendly pest control product which is right up our alley. With over 8,000 reviews, Pesty has proven to be a great middle ground for those of us that want something effective but also don't want to break the bank. Their optimized pest plans gives us the options to subscribe annually where you can pay per application. Pesty partners with the world's top pesticide experts to provide pro grade pest control at a fraction of the cost. It's strong enough to create the bug barrier you want but safe enough to use around our kids and pets. To save 10% on your order, make sure to use promo code ThisGeorgiaClay10. So we wanted to go ahead and partner with Pesty because I like that it was a DIY. As you guys know, our whole channel is based on DIY, so this was the ultimate decision for us to just go with some type of service that was just something that was homeowner friendly, DIY friendly, and allows me to be able to control as much of the application of the product that I you know, need in certain areas. And one thing also, you could also put it within the house too. So you, that's one thing that's good. It does say that you have to wait about 30 minutes to an hour for it to dry before humans or pets can come in contact with the product. But other than that, you're good to go. So what's in the box? So again, you get the application here. So you're gonna get the bag that you're gonna fill with the pesticide which is here, so you're gonna use that as well. It also comes with gloves to keep you safe. And then it comes with a rechargeable sprayer. So this is something that you're going to keep because with Pesty, it is a subscription or you can do a one-time as well. So they offer a one-time application. You can do a subscription, which is gonna be quarterly, or you can do a yearly application or a subscription as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for step two, now that we have it filled to the fill line, we're gonna go ahead and put in the pesticide. When you put in the pesticide, you're gonna add it to the water. Then you'll fill up this container three times. Let's go ahead and attach the wand.
so now that we got the solution ready, it was pretty easy, self-explanatory, as long as you read the directions. Make sure that your water pressure isn't up too high. That was a, something that I did. But now that I have it attached here, again, this is a rechargeable wand. You're gonna wanna keep this for your multiple applications once you sign up for the yearly subscription. So let's go ahead, and this says to pull to extend. So let's go ahead and get ready. So you guys, I was so excited to use this pesticide. I mean, these ants, and I've been having like, um, what is it, the red ants, the fire ants or whatnot, they have been tearing up my house. So I was so excited to use this product again, knowing that it's safe um, and effective. And then just again, a DIY service because I've tried other um, pest companies, but they were so expensive and I just felt like we do a lot of projects on our own, so when Pesty reached out to me, I thought that this was the perfect thing for us. Um, normally, you wouldn't want to do it on a windy day, but as soon as I uh, decided to go ahead and put in the pest control, it seemed like Mother Nature opened up and it was windy. So be mindful of that, but we decided to go ahead because the wind would stop and it would come back, so we would just take our time. Um, again, I just love that sprayer there. It's effective it was electronic so i didn't have to worry about pumping a bag or anything there it was a pesky weed um but just doing the foundation of our home and knowing that eventually the barrier the bug barrier would be built up and i wouldn't have to worry about anything for the next few months i just loved it So I was mindful when I went around my flowers not to spray the flowering shrubs because of pollinators. I just wanted to make sure that my bees were good and happy and that they can continue doing what they're doing. But also as a homeowner, I can get rid of those pesky pets. So I'm just spraying around, again, the foundation. It doesn't seem like your house is that big until you actually have to walk around it. And you're like, man, like, this is huge. <laughs> um, so this is a problem area um, at the back of door of our basement. So I made sure to spray it really good. And once we went around everything of our home or the exterior of our home, we made sure to go around again. Um, but I'll just let you guys ride out and, and see exactly how we did it. Make sure that you also go up and down the, um, the foundation as well so you know make sure it's okay to get it on some of your stone or brick or whatnot it's gonna be perfectly fine as soon as it dries um, but I made sure to do that so I'm not even gonna lie okay so about here I was running out of steam <laughs> um, but again I per persevered and got it done uh, again just making sure to do that foundation there and um, that flower bed there will eventually have some more shrubs, but for now, um, I'm loving the hydrangeas. But I'm so glad those bugs are gone. And while I was spraying, we saw a lot of spiders as well. I don't know if there was a mama spider soon, you know, close by or whatnot. And I feel bad for the babies, but they had to get out of there. All right, guys. So we just got done spraying the exterior of our home. The footprint of our home is about 2,100 square feet and we had more than half of the bag still full. So we went ahead and gave it another redo. We also did some spot treatments in certain areas. I highly recommend it, especially this wand. I absolutely love it. It's electronic, um, so it's just easy. You just turn it on and it sprays. We even went a little further up our elevation just to make sure that everything was nice and sealed and we didn't get any creepy crawlers that were trying to um, get around our pesty. I absolutely love this wand. It is um, electronic. It's an easy on off switch. You just um, click it on and then spray where you need to. And if you're going around something else that doesn't need to be sprayed, you click it off and I absolutely love it. I think this is the best <laughs> invention ever. Whoever made this did an awesome job. Normally those other pest control, you have to pump it and then go again and it leaks everywhere. You don't have that issue with this. So I absolutely love that. The wand extends when you're done you close it back in and you go ahead and you 
everything's ready to store. If you have any additional pesticide that's left in the pesty bag, make sure that you go ahead and um, the main idea is to use all of it. If you still have some, make sure that you dispose of it, um, but do not push it, put it down on any water source. So nothing down a sink or anything like that, water hose, nothing, just go ahead and dispose of it. Um, this, make sure you don't throw it away, make sure that you keep it so that way your next application, you'll just use the same wand because all you'll receive is you're gonna receive some gloves, of course, you're gonna receive the pesticide and the actual application bag, but you will no longer need the wand because you'll have it to use for further applications. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week and thank you so much for Pesty for sponsoring with us uh, or partnering with us today. Uh, we will give you guys a follow up in the next couple of weeks to let you guys know. I'm so glad that we went ahead and applied this because we're gonna start some projects in the backyard. As you guys know, we're gonna start our um, outdoor fire pit place. So once it's all done, we'll be bug free. We won't have to worry about that. So have a great week. Again, please make sure that you like, subscribe, share it with a friend and we'll see you guys. Bye.